was it DJs forcing us out? Uh, or was it more? No, 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 it wasn't no forcing was it, us out. Or was it just the Yeah, it was just bottom line. That's what the people wanted to right, hear. That's like bottom line, right, that's bottom line, Once again, nigga, grateful for that. Uh, right. It's just what the people wanted to hear, but uh, them niggas brought so much money to the city. Like, right. like I'm telling you, the clubs every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday right. was hidden. Like you had, like they had everybody, like I said, coming from the country, and like them little hoes was coming to the city. So that uh, that was good for economy wise in the hood, you know. So the niggas generated some money. I just say. I just, we all have to be faulted for them not being on game and wreaking better benefits. Right. And like, you know, Atlanta niggas getting right. the GS boys and like, you know, right. somebody right. else from somewhere else kind of getting them. The OG niggas, we got to fault ourselves for letting that happen. Right. Like a J Prince or a Suge or somebody right. would have never let that happen. Like, we never I'm Debo. I'm glad you spoke on we, it. We, Thank we, you. We, we never debo nothing back Thank in the city. Even myself, bro. Right. Like I say, we in the streets dirty anyway. So, niggas just didn't risk it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And didn't, you know what I'm saying? That shit just... But, but you realize it now, though. You know, like, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, what you think? Like, okay, so... Knowing what you know now, what would you do different? Back then? Yeah. Man, I would have been... Signing them niggas or I would like you know proper management type shit, but uh, I would uh, as far as my career wise, man, I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't do nothing different. Like once again, maybe, maybe maybe promote more and kind of get out more and not you know kind of put the street shit to the bottom. Cause like I say, even when niggas on the top of his game on some uh, street shit, a nigga still should have been right. You know, trying to change it when a nigga was treating that street shit like it was forever. You know what I'm saying? But what you learned along your journey that helped you get to to this point day to day? Um, man, uh, um, to just like when it get when it gets super hard and you just want to give the fuck up, man. Just don't, bro. Like, and then like I say, family is what kind of keep me motivated. Nigga, gotta right. stay out here and you know right. feeling, you know, right. paying bills, keeping the lights on. But um. Uh, Nigga just gotta keep moving, bro. Like, and it ain't no, it ain't, it ain't no age limit on nothing. It ain't never too late to hit the reset button. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It's just like you. It's always gonna be a crowd. It's always gonna be somebody somewhere rocking with you. Don't try to set out on a demographic of particular people to fuck with you. Right. If St. Louis fuck with you, right. bleed the fuck out of St. Louis. If right. Oregon fuck with you and right. your people, go to Oregon. Like right. it's. You gotta just, you know, rock with them. I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.